Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at PowerPoint where we'll be designing this beautiful template which uh, involves the steps in that particular process. So let's go ahead and see how we can replicate this beautiful template that we have over here. Alright, so the first thing I will need to do is to come to my home tab and then under the home tab, then I select new slide and under new slide i select a blank slide because i'm going to be working on a blank slide now if we look at the original design we realize that there's a background color so if we go to design we go to format background we come here to colors you can see this is the color that was chosen this color over here so we are going to use the same color so I come here onto my blank slide I come to colors under the design tab format background I come to colors and then I select that blue gray color for it again now let me go to eyedropper select that more colors and come to standard Right, so this is the hexadecimal code for the dark gray color so it's 252e37 if you want to use the same background as me you type hash 252e37 to get the same dark gray background color that i'm using all right so i can go ahead and press ok now the first thing we need to do is to design these shapes over here as you can see they are all objects they are all shapes made with circles and rectangles it's very easy for you to do so we are going to go ahead and do that this is just test a test a test and these are images i got online all right so we are going to start with the first design so i come here to insert And under the illustrations I come to shapes then I scroll down and I select under basic shapes I come here and I select the circle the hollow circle then I press and hold down shift to draw it nice and beautiful so after drawing that I can use my mouse cursor to increase or decrease the width of the circle over here so i'm going to keep it something like this all right so this should be fine i'll reduce the size a little bit more okay so this is looking good so far i select my hollow shape under shape format i come over here i go to shape fill fill it with white shape outline I go no outline all right so after this step the next thing you want to do is to go to shape again and then you select a rectangle now this time around you're going to draw the rectangle just draw it anyhow but make sure you you move the rectangle to be lower a little bit lower than half the middle of the cycle so something like this should be okay okay so reduce the size of the rectangle so it is not that big okay this should be fine okay you can play around with it to see what you like so i select the rectangle shape i go to shape format i give it white then no sh uh, shape outline so now i can select both of these shapes under shape format merge shapes over here I select that and I come to fragment what fragment does it it fragment every intersection of these two objects so after that I can now go ahead and delete the parts that I don't need so I'm going to be deleting these guys this guy this guy here this guy here and this guy over here so as you can see this is pretty much looking like what we already have over here okay so I realized I lowered this to a little bit too much so let's go back 
then before we fragment let's move this guy a little bit up okay all right so this is better so we select it shape format merge shapes and then i choose fragment so i can now delete the parts that i don't need okay so this is looking much more beautiful all right so the next thing i need to do is select the bottom shape over here go to shape fill and i can fill it with red as you can see in the original design so we already have our first shape so now that we have the first shape all we need to do is to duplicate it so we can duplicate by pressing and holding down control then selecting and dragging the shape to make a copy of it now i can come to rotate over here sorry before i rotate let me group them so i select i press ctrl g to group or i come here and i select group so i select this as well i come to group and then i group it so it becomes one object so i now select this i come to rotate then i flip vertical once i flip vertical it becomes the opposite of what i already have so i can now select this shape double click it go to shape fill and then i give it a gold color all right so this is looking pretty much okay so i can select both of these guys press and hold down control and drag to make an extra copy of it whilst holding down the shift okay so now let me quickly change the colors i select this guy i go to shape fill i give it this blue color then i select the one at the top here i go to shape fill then i give it this purple color all right so let me reposition everything really well over here select everything press and hold down shift reduce the size a little okay this is looking much better then i can select all my shapes then i come to align then i distribute horizontally so that will Make sure the space in between them is the same all right so from here the next thing i need to do if i go to, back to my original designs i can see this link between the shapes so i come here all i need to do is click on the insert go to shapes select a rectangle and then i draw a rectangle to connect these two ends okay so after drawing that i change the color to white so that it match make sure it has no outline and then i zoom in a little bit to do some adjustment over there so i can see this is not properly lined with the end over here so i can do that All right so this is looking much better okay so all i need to do is now copy this guy across all the design was pressing and holding down shift so i do that okay then i do that once more okay so it's looking pretty much okay it's looking beautiful all right so the next thing we need to do is just to come here and copy and paste this uh pictures that we have over here these icons that we have over here you can download them from flaticons.com i'll leave a link in the description of this video so i come to the first one i copy from here i go down here and then i paste and i reposition it i do the same thing for all the other icons i copy i come down then i paste and i reposition it very well the middle and do the same thing for the third one i paste I reposition it and then i do that for the last one I copy I come down here and then i paste okay 
very good so now that we are done with the basic design all we need to do is the title and then the writings we can see over here now for you to do that you can go to insert then you come to text box then you drag to draw your text box at the top over here then you can type title one here select that come to my home and give it a font color of white font size 18 and then I choose Montserrat as my font so I'm going with Montserrat medium as my font drag this up a little all right so I have title one here so now I can copy and then I make this guy I place it over here I select these two and then I copy again then I move it to the other side all right so I cannot change here to the title 2 title 2 here over here should be title 3 extend this a little and then over here it should be title 4 Alright, so now that we have the titles, we can go ahead and input our dummy text that we have over here. I can literally just copy and paste, but let's not do that. Let's let me show you how we derive it. So let me reduce the font size of my titles first. Let me give them uh, 16, should be fine. Okay, so the next thing I do is to go to insert again, test box draw a text box then I type equals lorem open and close bracket and then I press enter so this will give me this dummy test that I will work with I delete a whole chunk of it then I do some few formatting to it I give it white font size Sorry, fonts. I'm going to give it Montserrat Light. And then I'm going to give it a font size of 14. That should work. Okay. So I can now drag and place this at the bottom over here. Okay. And squeeze it a little bit. Alright. So now that I have this, all I need to do is to copy. And then place this also at the top over here then I select these two and then I make a copy again okay all right so this is pretty much how we do the design all that is left is for us to input our title over here all right so our font is too much so i'm going to read uh delete some parts of it so let me up to over here so i can put a dot here so let me quickly delete these guys and just copy it to make my work easier so i can just copy this guy place it at the top over here select the two and then i make another copy Right. so this is looking beautiful so far I can now select all of this and bring it down a little so that I can give room for my title so from here I can go back to the original slide then I have steps involved in our process so you can type that out yourself or you can just copy and paste so let's type that out ourselves so let me copy this and then we write that steps involved in our process so steps involved in our processes so i select everything i give it a font size i give it a font size of 24 then i can now select the process and then give it a color that i like so i'm going to 
go with the original design and give it the blue the light blue color that we have over here then the next thing is for you to just put some dummy test under it so i'm going to copy this and then i paste over here and then reposition it a little so this is pretty much how we do this type of design as you can see it looks very beautiful just like the first one that we have so the first one this is the first one the original design and then this is the one we were able to create we saw that we use light font over here so it makes it even more beautiful and attractive than the first one that we did so thank you so much for watching i'll be creating more powerpoint tutorials and videos and how to create templates and create professional and beautiful looking presentations for your uh, professors at the university for your workplace or anywhere you need powerpoint i'm going to be teaching you guys how to create beautiful and masterpiece presentations so that you wow your audience so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye